there are approximately 450,000 Jamaicans who fall below the $1.5 million threshold, and even some at higher thresholds, for example, $3 million, who have been adversely affected by this unusual period. So, Madam Speaker, I'm pleased to announce the implementation of a reverse tax credit for all Jamaicans, Madam Speaker, who contribute to the system, contribute statutories and otherwise, Madam Speaker, and earn under $3 million and under. The reverse tax credit, Madam Speaker, means that every registered taxpayer, Madam Speaker, who in the completed fiscal year did their part of contributing to society, whether through PAYE or being self-employed, Madam Speaker, and who earn under that threshold, Madam Speaker, this government, Madam Speaker, will provide for them a reverse tax credit, Madam Speaker, a tax credit, cash credit of $20,000. Madam Speaker, we have a total of 570,000 Jamaicans today who contribute to the Jamaican society through statutory deductions and some through personal income tax who will benefit from this measure. Madam Speaker, the cost of this program is $11.4 billion, and we consider this money very well spent. Reverse tax credits, Madam Speaker, are not new. They exist in other countries. It never existed before in Jamaica, but we are going to put it in place. Now, Madam Speaker, there's going to be an established system for the processing and payment of the reverse tax credit to be managed by the Tax Administration Jamaica. This will take some time to set up before it's ready because we want to set it up in a way that is durable so that the mechanism can be potentially available again in the future. Madam Speaker, make no mistake about it. We are leveraging our macroeconomic stability to the people's benefit. So, if you are working in the restaurant serving customers morning, noon, and night. You're working in the, on the floor of the ice cream shop. You're a janitor in the office building. You are a worker in the hotel, in the bar tending, or you're taking out, the, you're tending to the lawns, or you're in the entertainment section. If you are, Madam Speaker, working as a customer service rep, in a retail operation or a wholesale operation, if you're working at the BPO, Madam Speaker, if you occupy, if I'm talking to you, any one of the 570,000 persons, what we are saying to you is that the government, Madam Speaker, may not be able to solve everything overnight, but we are listening to you, we are hearing you, we are responding to you, and we are prepared to use creative means that are used in other countries in the world to attend to your circumstances. 